Hello everyone and welcome back to Two Bros Game Night. I am your host, Older Bro. I'm your other host, Younger Bro. And today we continue in trying to 100% Madagascar. Exactly that. The thing that you guys have been waiting for. That is not what they've been waiting for. They were waiting for. Us. They weren't even waiting for us to play this game. Uh, they just enjoyed us playing this game. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the, the views uh, say otherwise. No, no, no. The views say that they want, they want, or they enjoy us playing this game. They do not say we were absolutely waiting for you to play this game. I, I we know had I, one commenter say. I know at least two of our subs were waiting. Yeah, I'm just saying. We had exactly one commenter be like, "Oh, uh, like glad to see you playing the series again." But even that person was not specifically waiting for us to play it again. They're just happy to see us playing again. Yeah, fair, fair, fair. Again, there are there are no people that are sitting back at me like, I can't wait for the, to see the day that Younger Bro plays Madagascar 3. Yeah. Like. All right, so Older Bro's got some news. Yes, guys. So, um. Wait, wait, uh, I hear we're more. playing this on the PS3, right? Yes. Yeah. So, uh, PlayStation news, guys. Uh. This is this is a new. Uh, it's not a new series. This is a continuation of a series I've never named. Of stupid real world news, where I tell you about something that's very fucking stupid in the world of whatever. In this case, gaming. Usually, it's gaming. Oh, there's more. There's more. Got more. Okay, so that's one of four Mortons. So you don't have to worry about him in Rome ever again. One more. Oh, I found the other. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. There's he, one more. Mort he's not left. in Rome. No, nope. he's he's just in one of the other three, and I don't remember which. Yes. One. So, okay. uh, so stupid, stupid gaming news. news. So, um, there's been an announcement that the PlayStation, the PS4 or PS5 and Xbox One or Xbox a Series are getting new consoles in the next year or two. This comes as people still can't get the current version of the console, and there is still a chip shortage, which means that there are people, again, who can't get the PS5 at all, and are now hearing news about the new one. What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. No. Yeah. Th that's almost as bad as them announcing... Pokemon, the new Pokemon games this year. Yeah, like, it's like, well, here's the thing. If if Nintendo did this, that'd be fine. That would make sense on some level. If Nintendo said, oh yeah, we're going to announce in they... the next year or two the uh, the Switch XL. Mm. Or the Switch Pro, sorry. If they announced the Switch Pro, it'd be like, okay, I can understand That's that. Right. You announce consoles all the time. Yeah, like, and it's not you that have hard to four, make a bigger screen. You have four or five different consoles, like, throughout the lifespan of the console. Now is not out of the ordinary for you but, to announce but, a but, console. But, but, it would still be weird because of the chip shortage, but, like, I could see them doing it. But there's no way it can be the PS6. But the PS5 just... No, it's, it's not the PS6. It's the PS5 Pro, or whatever. It's just the Pro version of the console. The... Oh, and for the Xbox Series, it's actually called the Xbox Series XS Deluxe or something. It's like it's both names and another word. And it's like, what? So, so, so let, let me get this straight. So it's no. not the PSX. Okay. No, it's the, but it's, it's a, an upgraded version? Yes. Again, this console came out less than three years ago. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So what what are they doing with it? Like... What what is gonna be the enhanced features? Like what is it going to improve? Graphics, storage? Um, no. Well, maybe. No. Guys, the only reason I would buy it is if it improved storage, cause PS5's graphics are already decent. Like, to me, there's no reason to get a, an upgraded PS5 unless. It had certain features like that. It would have to overly top the PS5 for me to c consider getting that version. Like, like guys, we we are not. I don't think we're ready for an, an another PS5 or an Xbox. Like, I thought it was stupid when Xbox One had several variants of itself. And I'm gonna get the newest variant, guys. Like. 
I, I don't... So, but uh, yeah, so they actually don't give the full name for the P the Xbox Series SX, whatever it's going to be, but they do give it for the PS5, which is the PS5 Pro. Um, the difference is 2K, ev all, everything is 2K minimum. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what that means, uh, 1080p, no, 1080p is 1K. That's what the graphics is. So, okay, if you, so 1080p means 1K graphics. So it, what just does... like 4 4K is 4096 or whatever. That's so 4K is four times the resol or four times the width and four times the height of whatever. It doesn't matter. It's like four times the pixels by four times the pixels of 1K of 1080p. What does so, PS5 have? I don't know. Current. But the new uh, actually I might know that. Where's your phone? There it is. Okay. Uh... So, current... Uh... Oh, God, the pillow under me is screwed up. The current PS4, or PS5, has uh, 1440p, which is like 1.5k. So, they're going up to 2k graphics at 120 FPS... Well, 60 or 120. I think they've, I think at this point they've gotten rid of the 30 FPS entirely. It's just min 60. So 60 to 120 FPS, 2K graphics, support for 8K graphics. What the fuck does that mean? Double 4K. Okay. Um, yeah, so guys. What I else does it do? No fucking clue, because this is just the first announcement. Probably basically nothing else. As people pointed out, most game companies haven't even maxed out the current PS4 or 5. Because they're, all the games have been fucking delayed and no like nobody's gotten their hands on the fucking console. So there's... It there doesn't make any sense for this console to be coming out any earlier than 2025. The only reason it's coming out now is because they want to have a game console every three to four years. Fuck off. You're yeah. not Nintendo. Not even Nintendo does that. No. N Nintendo, They're not even on Nintendo the Switch Nintendo releases Pro yet. their new consoles every, like, seven to ten years. Like... But, yeah, they're not... But uh, I know I just said that they come out with uh, versions of their consoles all the time, and that is true. So I guess if we're counting that... Uh, then Nintendo's also just as bad, but like, yeah, I just don't think we're ready no, for. We are not PS5. ready for a new PS. PlayStation does not have like three or four versions of generation. They usually have two. So by this implication, they're saying that they think that the PS5 should be deprecated in three years. As in, once the Pro comes out in three years, we should be getting the PS6. I don't think the PS6 would have good enough, like, I, yeah. I, I want to call it, like, ex I, I don't think it would be that much better from the PS5. That, no. That's what I'm trying to say. You, you have to understand, we're already at the point where graphics are basically unnoticeable. I know people out there are like, I can tell the difference, it looks better. No, you actually can't. Oh, I got all the stars, good. It is impossible to tell the difference between, like, a 4K video and an 8K video. You can't. Uh, it doesn't matter on what resolution of screen you get. You cannot tell the difference. Your brain is literally incapable of processing the number of pixels on the screen. Yeah, at that that, point. that's why I'm not that worried about missing out on the next PS5. Like, yeah, it's so like the exactly. The, it, there's no difference between 1440p and full 2K. Tell you what, guys. The only way I would get this next console is if it has more storage. That is the only reason. Yeah, but at that point, you might as well just get the higher storage version of the current console. Like, I have the best current. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think even I don't think they're gonna get that much better. Like, I I think the current storage I have is one tear on mine. Yeah, and but you can already just get external hard drives. 
Yeah, but I don't really know how it works on consoles. I I struggle to understand how it works on the Wii U. From my understanding, most of the other consoles are easier. The Wii U was one of the hardest ones, but I think the rest of them are just plug and play. Mm. But I'm not certain. It's probably not as bad as uh it's probably not as bad as the Wii U. Plus, like I don't think the Switch is as bad as the Wii U. Plus, storage on the PS5 it doesn't really matter. Because I can just delete the game, mm -hmm. and I can keep my save file, and it saves it on a different kind of storage. Yeah. So, like, it's not that big of a deal Yeah, to exactly. Me. So, no, it's like, no. I don't, I see no reason why going for the pro version makes any sense, and it especially doesn't make any sense for this, like, for one year from now. Yeah, like, get this, guys. Um, Again, this console should not come out until 2025. Yeah, like, I, I, on the PS4, I, I hate the download time. It takes so long to download yep. this stuff. can confirm that it is 100% uh, 60 to 120 FPS default. Uh, but, but anyway, yeah. the, the download time sucks on the PS4 and PS5. Like, yeah, it sucks to have to wait. That's to never going to stop. But download times are not going to get better. Like the, I, I'm just trying to tell you guys how I manage my storage on my. PS4 and PS5 consoles. What I do is I just keep the games that I know I'm going to play all the time. Hatsune Miku, Jurassic World. Keep those on my PS5, yep. but everything else gets deleted. Yeah. Yeah, download times are never going to get better. They are only going to get worse. Because PlayStation is going more and more digital, which means that you have to download the full game. And as the console gets more and more space, the games get bigger and bigger which means download times are just going to get worse and worse yeah like uh for for red dead mm -hmm. take it three hours yep three hours because you're downloading the full fucking game yep this is why i prefer the nintendo switch because i mean nintendo, nintendo switch occasionally has download times but yeah. i think at work the worst one i've seen was like an hour yeah again because as long as you're playing the the, car the cartridge version of the game, the game is on the cartridge. No downloads needed. Yeah, and I wish they did something similar with the PS5. And yeah, well, it's why don't you convince uh, PlayStation and Xbox that they should start using cartridges? I mean, I understand it's easy to have games on a database, but you have to admit, like, yeah. your download time fucking sucks. Yep. And it means if you live in a place with bad internet, you just can't use the console. For four hours, maybe five. No. <laughs> no. Uh, if you, you, you don't understand. You getting the three-hour download times are probably about the best. When you live out in the middle of the country, if you get a download time at all, it's 20-plus hours. You literally have to leave the console running and just wait for a day and a half. To get the fucking game installed. That that's even a joke, uh, on or that's even like a joke online. Like there are online games that do the same thing. Where like I mean, yeah, Steam has some download times. Yeah, like, Steam. I'm not talking Steam. I'm talking like non-Steam games or like first release games. Games that are just now like first releasing. They will like that's the reason why a lot of those games have like. Two. Uh, that's why a lot of games started doing the, uh, what's it called? Uh, started doing, like, the, you can start, you can pre-download the game. Oh, yeah. It's because those games are so big that they actually have to pre-download them, otherwise you can't play them launch day. Well, here's the thing, even if, even if you can pre-download sometimes the pre-download doesn't mean you can just go in and play the game like mortal kombat mortal kombat is a good example yeah because you download you can download the whole game you can pre-download it you can open the game while yep. it's pre-downloaded 
but you are not able to play the story because yep. it needs downloaded until like actually it's not that bad it's only about 20 30 minutes so it's yeah. not terrible but no but like the pre-downloading normally for like a lot of games is that they'll they'll do it be one day before release and they'll say yeah you can pre-download the game and on launch day at a certain time you can start playing the game yeah i did that with hatsune miku yeah and that's explicitly because they want you to be able to have the game installed when the game goes live. Because if they didn't, and you the game goes live and you don't have it pre-downloaded, you're waiting eight hours, at minimum, to play the game. Because you have to download the whole fucking game. And it sucks. Um, I'm only missing one flower. I'm looking real hard. Yep. I don't remember if I've seen it anywhere. I don't think I have. Not that I know of. The problem is that when we get to these points, it's like, who knows where the hell it is? So. What all do we still have to do? Um, some balloons, some... Yeah, so, okay, mostly Melman. Yeah, you might just have to switch and come back later. I'm only missing one. I haven't searched the whole area yet. Oh, that's fair. Um, I swear I remember seeing a couple flowers. I mean, you probably did, the ones you've already gotten. Yeah, I remembered the one on the booth, that one I got first. A lot of them are probably just in like small crevices and stuff you can't easily see. And how the camera keeps changing. I don't like that. Yeah. <sighs> I yeah. I cannot wait to play uh, uh, some of the Metal Gear Solid games now. I wonder if it's in here. Could be. Because uh, I just... Uh, oh my fucking god. 100%. That's gotta be it. Maybe not. No? Never mind. Fucking bitch ass bitch. Um, the, uh, yeah, you know, this is just a, a, a route we had to take to get uh, some rain. I didn't even stuff. know that was a route. Mm. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to look around with somebody else for now. Well, even if I look around with someone else, it's going to do the same thing. I'll still probably be running around looking for one. Well, yeah, yeah, I'm just saying, but it's possible that while you're looking around for that one, you'll find the one you're looking for. Let's see. Anyway, um... It's like, worst comes to worst, we spend, like, ten minutes running around looking for something. Uh, but anyways, so yeah, I, uh... Yeah, I, uh, I watched... Well, first off, I saw a clip from, I think it's Metal Gear Rising. Yeah. Which I think is the last Kojima game. <laughs> and then uh, I watched the completely inaccurate uh, uh, summary of, uh, of the game. Yeah. By the way, guys, if you do not know what that is, uh, there is a series... Uh, who I cannot remember who it's by. Sorry that I can't credit you. Um, but there's a series that's some called... It's either exactly called a completely inaccurate uh, synopsis of... Or a completely inaccurate summary of... Or it's very closely called that. So, you can just look up a completely inaccurate summary of Metal Gear Rising. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, for anyone who doesn't know what game that is, that's the game the Senator Armstrong comes from. Um, so you watch this and what about it? Oh, just Senator Armstrong's character, oh. who is absolutely excellent. For for context, so the point of this series is obviously that it's a completely inaccurate summary. But by completely inaccurate, he usually just means adds a lot of, like, memes and jokes that still vaguely is related to the plot so it's like completely inaccurate isn't the most accurate 
Like, um. Yeah, the funny thing is, fun. You know, like mentioning Metal Gear, guys. I've been yep. kind of craving playing it. Yeah. Cause I I have all of Metal Gear except for five. Mm -hmm. And I have it on the PS3. But yeah, for for context, um, so to. I guess I can't really call this spoilers because it's a quote from a character you don't know from a video that's inaccurate to the series that it's talking about. Uh, so I, I guess it would be quite imp uh, a uh, it would be quite impossible for it to be a spoiler. But uh, the quote, <laughs> the quote that uh, this guy uh, was uh, saying. Oh, we finally made the jump correctly. Uh, the the quote that this guy put in his video. Uh, which you will not fully understand the context of, was, uh, and, uh, like, the, the guy, the guy who's saying it literally says, and as you, and, like, and as you know, American imperialism is out, is 100% justified because we had a black president once. <laughs> <laughs> Which is just like what the fuck? What? That yeah, that is the literal quote that this guy says. The co the commenter then responded like a commenter in the video then responded to this like, this is one of the funniest lines. Uh, in this entire video, be entirely because it hits a little too close to home. Followed up by somebody commenting, it also hits way too close to everyone else's homes. <laughs> Oh my Which God. is like, yep. Wow, I didn't think you could make that comment more real, but you've somehow managed. Go up there for a second. Right. I thought I saw something up there. In the, like, up these. Yeah, there's a valve in there. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought I saw the flower in there. Yeah, I know, red. it's red. Yeah. Glad to see I'm not there's the first person balloons. to make that confusion. But yeah, it is, uh, I would greatly recommend that video. But yeah, guys, I actually have planned uh, Metal Gear 1 first. That's right, we're starting in order. Yeah. Even though I don't really like a lot of 2D games, uh, I'm gonna try it. Yeah. I, is that the flower? That's the flower. <laughs> I told ya! I fucking called it! How did I miss it? It's because it blends in with the background. Yep. You can even see it from over there. Which and I like how we were in this area. Yep. Like, we went into this and we like, walked right past We it. thought for sure it was going to be. Yep. Okay, so how many balloons do we have left? Uh, three. Oh, God. Well, there's two up there. Yep. Well, I guess let's go up there first since we know where those are. Yep, doing it now. Right I'm now. going up there now. Don't, wor don't you worry, you know what, none, hon. Going up right now. But, yeah, guys, um, we might be playing Metal Gear at some point this year. Yeah. By the way, I just fixed, uh, I, I don't want to say I just fixed. I just, uh, oh, God, one of them's down, too. Uh, one I just more. added all the Mario and Luigi games to the schedule. One of which, um, one of which we already had on the schedule. Which one? Uh, I think it was Superstar Saga because I think you were playing that. Yes, I'm playing that yeah. one. So I had the whole series as being like, this hasn't been added yet. And I was like, oh, no, wait, one's on here. Okay, I'm going to add the rest of them. Um, I know I got recommended one by Reshi. Yep. Reshi wants us to do part Partners in Time. Yep, that's I think the fucked up one. Called? Yeah. yeah. That is the, I'm not even trying to exaggerate. I'm not exaggerating in any way, guys, when I say that is the, like, it is probably one of the most fucked up Mario games you will ever see. I think it's down there. Yep. yep, it's right there. So, perfect. We got them all. Can you switch right now? No. You and me both, Marty. Maybe I imagined it. Fuck off. Okay. Uh, yeah, perfect. So yeah, no, I uh, I put down partners in time, and I put down uh, what the fuck was the other one? Oh, I see it. Uh, Bowser's Inside Story. I think I've so, heard of that one. Yep. Uh, so we, we get to we get to fight over Dream Team and uh, 
the Paper Mario crossover. Ah, oh, damn it. Well, I'm fine with you doing the crossover if you're fine with me doing Dream Team. That's fine. Awesome. Okay, we've settled that. Um, also, by the way, you had a. Uh, I, I noticed uh, by while searching for Mario, we had um, Odyssey on twice because we had it both in the oh. a scheduled slot and in the unscheduled slots. So it's like, well, here's all the games we have scheduled. Odyssey. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, it's on the other sheet scheduled already. Yeah, what guys, are you talking about? And I'm the one playing Odyssey because older bro wants me to. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to be playing it anytime soon. No. Nope. Because of my import list. Yep. But no, yeah. But I did notice it's like, oh, it's on there twice. And also, so. guys, I might play Sunshine before Odyssey. I don't know. Yeah. Super I, Mario Sunshine! Because I really do like me some sunshine. Yeah. I mean, hell, we're already playing a, a thousand year door or a thousand year door, and that has like the Piantas from Sunshine in it, so. I don't even remember them. The mob. No, 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 no. I remember the characters. I don't remember them in Sunshine. They're the primary race on the island. How is it? I guess I've ignored them. You, you, every single creature you interact with is a Pianta. How did... How? I haven't played that game in years. Like, and it's your copy, too. Like, now I do actually own it. I own it on the Switch because yep. I got the 3D collection. Yeah. I'm very disappointed. Uh, I'm going to be very... Sorry, I'm going to be very disappointed when we play that game, by the way. Um, because we're not going to get the objectively better, um, end scene. Not, like, the end of the game. Like, the, whenever you collect a Shine Sprite. In, uh, in, I think in the English version, it just says something like, uh, by left. Yep, by left. Uh, it just says something like, uh, you got a shine, or, or no, I don't think it says you got a shine. I think it just says sh uh, shine sprite or something. It just it just says a line, but in J Japan it specifically uses shine get, <laughs> which is the thing every single person always yells whenever they get a shine sprite in that game. Shine. Get. And I will every single time we get a shine in that game. So uh, if you expect, it, uh, are you 100 percenting that game? Sunshine. Yeah. Don't know. I don't remember enough about it to know what I'm doing with okay. it. Okay. Because the last time I played it was before we started the channel. Okay. Because you have to get, I think it's 50 of the shines to beat the game. And I think there's only 70. But I can't remember. All right, guys. One more. But, yeah. Every single one of those shines, I will yell out shine gifts. So, just... Um, Keep that in mind, guys. How does Moment get back? He drowns. No, he jumps back up. Oh. oh that was bad. Yeah, I literally... Like, I have to use the edge of that to get back over yep. here. That's terrible. That's really bad collision. Is it that over there? No, I think that was a... No, it's... Yeah, it's just... That's one of those things. Never mind. But it, it might be over there. That's the only yeah. place I haven't checked yet. It would be. It could be. Alice, can I borrow you for a second? And yep. Alex, if you're not too busy, could you help me out? Okay. Like the last one has to be over here. Could be. I think I remember where it is. I think it's on the edge over here. I'll keep going. Hold on. You're into me. There's still more to go. No, that was it. Oh, I thought there was a corner there. Yeah, there's nothing there. Yeah, there's a corner there. It's not in there, but there was a corner. Is that? No, that's also one of those. I um, fucking hate I the white glowing objects that are con easily confused with other white glowing objects. But yeah, I think I do remember there being one up here, so... I don't know where. Marty, I thought I there was. Busy. I guess I not. Wait, maybe it's over there. Can I? I don't think you're gonna make that. 
Or if you do, you aren't supposed to make it. <laughs> ah, you're definitely not supposed to make that. <laughs> nope. Okay, let's look around a little bit. Marty, I mean, it's a good vantage out? point, but... Yeah, it's like this is a good place to stand, but it's definitely not here. It's not here. Okay, I guess it's in the town somewhere. So it is not over Downtown. here. Downtown! Uh, you fucked, man. You ain't getting back out of here. You. I'm soaked. You are fucked. I think you're gonna have to actually switch levels and come back. I, I legit don't think it's possible for you to get back. No, that's that's mm. possible. That is straight impossible. Okay, at least I'm on the boat now. I didn't think you could spawn on the boat. Yuck. Who knows where that water's been? The water. Motherfuck. The water's been in the water. Yeah, they didn't cut away for Melman to get back. Because they didn't intend Melman to get over here. No, 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 no. Uh, you can just, you can just switch to a different character and then have them walk over. And... I can't collect it as any other no, no, character. No, 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 I'm saying you should just switch levels, but I guess you can. I can't levels. switch levels. I have to quit. I, okay, whatever. Like, it saves after every time I collect something. Yeah, 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 but, like, by switch to levels, I meant switch maps in this world. Like, go to zone I, range. Oh, zone yeah, range. I, I could you have just done swap that. Them, swap whatever. Them, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Either way, you're good. Yeah, so somewhere in here, there's one more. And it is not over there, so I cannot cross the lake with the boats. So there's... Yep. There's no reason to walk over there. Where would it be? Good question. Yeah, that's some good Kirschen. <laughs> that's not it. That's the cannon. I think it's in here somewhere. What does suck is that now we have unbroken all the, uh... Oh, animal control. Uh... I think all there. the crates, so... Now we have no idea which crate we've gone up and checked. I don't think it's it is not fountain in the fountain. I just want to make sure. Nope, the fountain's clear. Guys, the animal control is back. Hmm. Yeah, they're so slow that I don't care if they see me. Like, yeah, that's okay, I guess. Fuck went this be? Not down there. This is where we found a balloon. Yeah. I think this is where another thermometer was There's right here. Thermometer here. I think this is where Mort was. I, was oh, I don't think it's here. As a reminder, guys, there isn't really a good way for me to look this up that isn't just uh, watching somebody play through this entire Let's Play and pray to God they find one we didn't find. Like, there's, there really aren't guides for this. Yeah, if, if anything, we're making the guide. Uh, not even that. We're not quite making a guide, but we're, uh, we are showing every location, so... You too can follow along uh, with us and find them all eventually. I think it's on there. No. It's not here. The nice thing about the fact that it saves after everyone is if we need to, we can just end the, the episode and just. We can, but. It, it sucks too, but it's like if we absolutely need to, we can just always end the episode at any time. So, at least that's better. Maybe it's up here. Could be. Yeah, at least good job with that game. Well, you definitely can't get over there. Yeah, you can't get in there, so. Where the fuck 
is it? I don't know. That's a good question. I, I might have to look this one up. Again, like as I just stated, there isn't really a way for me to look this up. But I'll... If required, I will do what I can. Yeah, which I is think. pretty much nothing. I think I'm gonna have to. Yeah, because it's like... It's, I don't understand where it's at. Yeah. Let me go flip around with Alex a little bit. Maybe I can find it as Alex. It has to be back here. Or where would it be back here? I don't know. Oh, I haven't looked on this cannon. This is something I can't handle alone, Marty. Right there. What is that it? Oh my it. god, it's in front of a window! Yep. <sighs> so far, guys, we are zero for two uh, for having to look up any of these. Uh... But I got pretty damn close. Like, yeah. th this, this one was just in a terrible location. Yes. Like, God, I can barely see it. Alright, we got it! Key to success. We got it, yay! Thank God. Well, guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. We're gonna come back next time with one other level, be uh, because apparently yeah, we can only do one of these levels done at a time. With Rome. Yeah, so until then, the future is very uncertain. What is certain is you guys are awesome, and this zebra, or and this giraffe is uh, a an antelope. Boing, boing, boing. Uh, also, yeah, that, ha that has to be coded from a fucking antelope. That. The, the butt going up in the air Boing. is so dear antelope. Boing. Like, Boing. anyways, there'll be more Two Bros Game Night tomorrow. See you then. Goodbye. <laughs>